now, we need to talk a little bit about how the body is going to compensate for the loss of these hydrogen ions. Elevated amount of bicarbonate retention and high pH. This is easy. We talked about this before, but it's very important that I actually point it out to you guys. So, I told you the top is always metabolic, constantly. So in any kind of metabolic alkalosis, we know we're actually with dealing with this top part of the figure. The only way, I repeat, the only way we can actually fix this is by coming here, down to the bottom, what? The CO2, the arterial PCO2. So how does the body regulate this? Well, if the pH is up, try to bring it down. It's already greater than 7.45. So the body is trying to retain some CO2. How does it do that? If you increase the amount of CO2 at the bottom, you automatically decrease the pH. Theoretically, that's how it works, right? Because I'm retaining a lot of bicarb. No, and I'm losing a lot of hydrogen ions. If my kidney refuses to lose its bicarb, the only way I can fix this is retain a lot of CO2. And when I retain CO2, we call it hypoventilation. So the patient is not breathing as fast as it was. Remember in metabolic acidosis, if you ever watch that, that the patient's actually hyperventilate to get rid of all too much CO2. In this case, they retain it, and that is the respiratory compensation. Got it? So, let's put out a word for a minute. Let's see how the body actually compensates. So we can put it in a, a better format. So let's pick a 20 year old gentleman. Female, actually, we're going to do it this time. 20 year old female come to the emergency room. She's complaining of uh, she's weak, she's tired, and uh, she's been having some episodes of vomit. Okay. Like I said, metabolic acidosis, uh, alkalosis, the patient's complaining of what? Symptoms. The chief complaint. She's fatigued and she feels weak. Her symptoms, obviously, like we said, she's been vomiting, nausea and vomiting. We order our labs, the labs come back like this. Look at that. Patient's hypokalemic. That would explain the weakness. Look at the bicarbonate. It's 36. It's telling you something. They say they're nausea and vomiting. Since they've been vomiting all day, we've been vomiting for a couple of days now, automatically we can go back to our formula. Just real quick in our head. They've been losing all this hydrogen ions. They're retaining so much bicarb. The pH, which I could have forgot, was 7.49. So automatically we know the pH is alkalotic. The primary problem is right on top. The only way the body is going to actually compensate is by going the respiratory route. By retaining CO2. So if I, sh I should expect the PaCO2 of this patient to be greater than 40. Does that make sense? Because that's the only way. Remember, once we use up the top, the only way we can figure this out is by coming to the bottom, respiratory compensation. So, I should expect the PCO2, should, 
this is just, I'm guessing, I'm, I'm just put out the running number, it's not like the answer, but it's greater than 40, 52 is greater than 40, so I just speak 52, right? And that's how you figure it out. That, okay, the patient is vomiting, the pH is hot, they're losing all this hydrogen ions, they're retaining their bicarb, the pH is hot, the only way they're gonna figure out how to compensate is by definitely um, retaining carbon dioxide, which is gonna cause that pHCO2 to be high. But you know what? You don't want your pHCO2 to be too high either, because if you become hypercapnic, you also become hypoxic. So we gotta treat it as soon as possible, right? And if it's saline sensitive, like we talked about in the video earlier in the, the video, we give them saline, we treat the underlying condition, we give them some potassium. Do you understand that? Uh, that's just one key important thing I think uh, we need to talk about. Like I said, I was going to talk about use a case to kind of paint the picture a little bit. Uh, and this will be something in the case of uh, saline sensitive. If we're saline resistant, we'll, I will have picked the patient. Um, Actually, why don't you let us go ahead and do that? A 45 year old gentleman comes to the emergency room complaining of uh, he's been peeing his brains out and he's tired, he feels weak, he can't move his muscles. So, chief complaint is also fatigue, weak, weakness. We ask for the symptoms, complex of polyuria, some headaches. He's also complaining of severe weakness in the lower extremities, bilaterally, he's tired. I order some labs. His sodium, potassium. I would be pretty damn scared, right? Me too. Uh, it is, uh, what else we need here? Let's toss in uh, bicarbonate. His blood pressure. Um, also, See, I think that's good enough information, right? If you look at the information I presented on the board here, we have said the patient has fatigue and weakness, his penis brings out, he has some headaches, he has some weakness, and you look at his potassium. His sodium is mildly elevated, more than 145, which is the range, sodium is 135 to 145. His bicarb is high because it has some metabolic alcohol losses, and we forgot to say the pH. Is 7.50, which is clearly greater than 7.45. So, what do you think is going on? I basically gave you a case of a patient with some problems with aldosterone, and it talked about it in the pathophysiology. So, automatically, you see how all this a case can lead to the diagnosis of the patient. And what they are doing is they're retaining a lot of bicarb, the pH is very elevated. The only way, again, for them to compensate is by coming down here. But I told you the way we're going to treat them is different. Uh, we're not going to give them saline because it doesn't work. We automatically either give them spironolactone, which is bilateral adrenal hyperplasia. We give them, uh, we take out the adrenal tumor from the adrenal gland if, if it's just unilateral. Okay, I hope this case was very straightforward, pretty easy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to keep furthering with our videos and you know, we're going to talk about both sides of this uh, slide. Thank you.